Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm up at Glade Park. It's up on the plateau behind the Colorado National Monument. And here is the uh, road I was on. It's a nice gravel road, so you can easily take a car up on this one. However, there's a better spot to park off a little further that way. It's a little further north coming in where you're closer to where I'm trying to get to over here. And I'll show you once we get better view, but it's some, some hills and cliffs where you got some good layer exposure. So up here in my book, it talks about petrified wood. And I would expect an area that has petrified wood to also have some agate and jasper. And sure enough, I just looked on the ground really quickly and I found this little piece of agate. Not very good, not good color, but it is an agate. It does let light through it, if you can see that. <laughs> I don't have the macro lens on right now. But yeah, so I'm excited. It's a small strip of BLM land in between private property. So on the east side of the road, this side over here, you do not have much space before you hit private property. However, on the west side, you have quite a distance. The private property boundary is down there in the valley. So you have a nice space here where you can hopefully find some stuff. And then over here, I spotted some hills that look like a good place to hopefully find some uh, good exposure. So yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Petrified wood, possibly agates and jaspers. And of course, here are the GPS coordinates to where I parked. And this is the GPS coordinates to where it's good to bring a car. But if you have a higher clearance vehicle, there's a better place to park just down the road that way coming in. Okay, I'm just coming now to the edge right here where you can see. And do you see that exposure? Kind of the nice hill exposure right there. That's where I'm hoping to find some more stuff, maybe petrified wood. And maybe down in the stream bed if I can get down there. We do have some uh, thick brush in a few places, but we'll see. I was just coming down this hill and I saw this. Now, usually when it's white like that, and then you can see some color change into it. Yeah, like right there. Sorry, let me hold that better. That's usually an agate. So that is probably an agate. I'm going to take that home and cut it open and see what it looks like on the inside. And I'm seeing a little bit right here too. Oh, well, here's one that's uh, kind of exposed. Yeah, see, that's an agate. That doesn't have terribly good color, but it is definitely an agate. Here's this little agate nodule cut open. Fractured right there. Oh, 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 look at that. Wait a second. I didn't see anything up there that looked like that. Look at that. That is a nice agate. Wait a second. Okay, so you haven't seen it yet in the video, but at the end, I kind of talk about how I probably won't come back out here because I didn't find a whole lot. This is worth going back out there for. I think I'll be going back up there looking for these nodules like this. These little agate nodules. Yeah. Wow, look at that. That is neat. I'm on this little road right here, so this is probably somewhere you could park too. Um, look at that. That's a thick piece of agate right there. Right in the road. Colors aren't good, but it's agate. Good indication that we could find some interesting stuff here. This agate really is all along here. Oh, there's another nodule. Once again, this one doesn't look very good. I won't take that one back. Oh, we got another one up here. Okay, that one looks a little better. I'll take that back and cut it open. I cut open this little nodule and it fractured on me and, eh, not great. So this is the place I recommend parking here as long as you've got enough clearance to come up and over that little spot right there. See, we well, couldn't do that in my car, so I just had to park it up there a little ways. But if you've got high clearance, this is the better place to park right here. Kind of cool. You can see down into Glade Park, and then you can see off down into the Grand Junction Valley there in the distance. But this is what I was going after over here. This is what I was looking for. So you can see in that direction a hill. And along the south facing slope of the hill, so off in this direction, you got some nice exposure and it goes down quite a ways. I figure if there's petrified wood in this area, like they say, you'll find it at some point probably going through these layers because I think this exposes most of the layers that are up here in this spot. So yeah, that's where we're headed. Remember, over in that area, private property after like, like 50 feet. So probably not the best to go that way. 
come off here to the west side and we got quite a distance before private. What a pretty area. Yeah, some nice exposure here. Definitely has the look of some layers that you would expect to maybe have petrified wood in them. So yeah, we're gonna just kind of work our way down through the layers as far as we can. Oh, let's hope we find something good. Oh man, what is that? That looks very different. Huh, it's a bunch of red agate in funny bands. That's interesting. Hmm, if that stays together, maybe I can take that home and cut it open. That is really cool looking. So I washed this off just so we could get a closer look at it. Looks pretty much the same as it did when I was up there. But yeah, you can definitely see that cool structure in it. What used to be barite, replaced by red agate. Something interesting I wanted to point out. You see this agate, this low quality agate. It's coming from this side and none from this side which makes me think there's probably a fault going right through here. So we've got different layers on this side than this side, which also explains why there's different vegetation. <laughs> well, I'm back in the area where I'm getting the low quality agates. There's another one. Should, I'll take that one back too. Cut that open. Hmm. Yeah, there's a number of them. Here's this little agate nodule cut open. Oh, well, I guess it didn't have any agate in it. That's too bad. <laughs> oh well. Huh. Hit the fence much sooner than expected. Hmm. Well, either I've come further than I thought I have, or that's an older fence and is not part of the property boundary. Hmm. Either way, it's supposed to jog back this way at some point, so we'll keep going this way just to be safe and then hopefully cut down a little bit. But yeah, so far no petrified wood. Here's another one of those nodules. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take it back and cut it open. Hopefully they're good, because otherwise they're all gonna come out there. <laughs> but yeah, you can see this stuff here. Here's this one cut open. I'm not holding out for much. It feels kind of like limestone. Yeah, or mud. Yeah. Not much. A little bit going on right there, kind of like a miniature septarian. Here's this one cut open. Feels like clay. And it's pretty much clay. Kind of like a miniature septarian. Okay. I've come down quite a ways. And for the last quite a while, I have found pretty much nothing. Nothing really worthy of note or anything different than what I've been finding. And no more of that red agate. So I'm thinking, because the private property is probably not too far off now, because I've actually come down quite a bit, that the layer with the petrified wood, wherever that is, is maybe due to a fault, multiple faults in this area. Because I already guessed that there's a fault between the stuff on this side and the stuff on that side. There may be multiple faults going one way or the other. And if that's the case, then there's a good chance that the petrified wood might actually be further up the road or further back down the road. On this, it's a little bit of the conglomerate, but look at that red in it. There's red agate mixed through it in between the pebbles. That's interesting. So, there's some of the red agate. I'm now back in the spot where I found the red agate piece. I'm gonna just kind of search this area, work my way up after I've searched down here. And if I find anything else, I'll bring you in. Otherwise, maybe I'll find something up on the top. So I got down on this pile really close and I found these. So this has a little bit of red agate right there and there. And then this is a piece of it, but really dark. And it definitely has a shape or structure to it. Maybe it's replacing barite, kind of like the Cisco and Yellow Cat stuff. Look at that. Look at the structure on that. It's tiny, but it's really cool. Yeah, I'd say it's probably replacing barite. A bit more of the red agate. Oh, I think I see a piece right there. Oh, 
Ooh, now that looks like some calcite in that one. Hmm. I'm not seeing so much red in that. Ooh. Let me put those down really quick. I see another one right there. See that? Yeah, it's like little barite balls replaced with red agate. That's similar to what you get out in Cisco and Yellow Cut. Now that I've started seeing them, I'm beginning to see them quite a bit. There's another one right there. Looks like there's maybe something right here. Yeah. Okay, this stuff is pretty abundant. It's just pretty small mostly. Hard to spot. But some of them are really cool. Here's another one. Not so red that one, but you can see the pattern. It's the right pattern. There's another one. It can be a little hard to spot. You gotta see that structure because they're not always red. Uh -huh, I think I may have found one that's a little bigger. Oh, cool. So look, it's coming out of the purple layer. Well, and the gray layers because the yeah, first one I found is like that. So. It's occurring probably all through these layers, just in small amounts here and there. Ah, oh, there's another one. Eh, not a very good one. Oh well, would you look at that. That's interesting. Hmm. Hello. Alright, looks like it's calcite. Let me get up here a little closer. I'm gonna have to get my hand pick out. Yeah, that's calcite. So I dug into it, so there's like little veins of calcite going through it. And this is that main one that was poking out. It's kind of cool. And here's some other ones that came out of it. So interesting. Not the quality of calcite I'd be interested in, but it's just kind of a cool little thing that's also here. Okay, this spot seems to have a little bit higher of a concentration of them. There, there, there. What's that? Yeah, I'm starting to see a lot more of it sitting around. That one's really cool right there. That's a good one. That's a bigger chunk. Not great, but it's bigger. Oh, is that more of it? Yeah, I'm seeing some stick out. Maybe they're encased inside some of these things that look like mud balls. I washed this off so we could take a better look at it. Look how cool those are. It's like a little desert rose of barite replaced by agate. <laughs> this one's kind of cool because it was a little clear up there. You can see some light coming through it a little bit. Sorry, let me hold it better. There you go. Cool. That's a decent looking one right there. Cool. Another one. Cool. There's another one right there by it. Yep, they're more abundant now that I'm coming up further. Getting closer to the source then. Okay, there are a lot of these. So this could be fun to come out. They're really small. They're not amazing, but they're still fun. So here we go. Looks like a little mud ball, but you can see a little bit of it poking out. So I wonder if most of these are actually that. So this is the bowl area where I'm finding it. It seems to be coming out in these layers right here. So you could probably find it all through this. So this is a cool little spot. I'm just parked up there. So here's the GPS coordinates to this spot. Just so if you want to come out here and look for this cool agatized barite. It's not as good as Cisco and Yellow Cat. But it's a good option when it's too hot down there. Up here it'll be much cooler. Another one of those white ones. Kind of like I found down there. Not as good but still kind of white. And I'm walking back to the car. So I went up the hill the rest of the way. I didn't see anything else up higher up on the hill that that was of any interest to me. <laughs> so I'm heading back to the car. I would say this is a good place to come out and stop. If you're if you're coming up here for some other reason, like to go camping or if if I find some petrified wood, then I would say this is worth stopping at. Take a moment and go get some of that. <laughs> I get replaced barite. Pretty cool. But I don't know if it's really worth coming out by itself. Anyway, let's go further up the road. 
toward the campground. See if we can find something different around there. Okay, I'm further up the road now. Mud Spring Springs, <laughs> Mud Springs Campground is right there. It's closed right now. They're doing construction on it. Um, yeah, so it's right there. You might be able to hear something. Everything on this side is private, and I'm worried that maybe the wood is coming from those layers. And oh, sorry. Yeah, it's coming from those layers, and that would be unfortunate because that means that when the book was written, this might not have been private, and now it is. I don't know. Whatever the case. But if there's wood down here, that's going to be difficult. It is very covered in vegetation. So this might be quite a challenge. I don't know. I'll walk down there a little bit and see if I can't find anything. But if I don't find any good spots to really look, then I'm going to head back and go back north and try that area instead. See, this, this doesn't look like a good place for petrified wood. So, yeah. Not seeing any hope here. Let's go back down, down the hill and see if there's some better options that way. Well, here I am at the last place I'm gonna check out. So I've come down a fair ways. This is a spot I saw on the way up where it's just an old ATV road and we'll just see if there's anything around here that looks interesting. If not, we'll head out and call it a day, but let's give it a try. Oh, I found two little stream pebbles that are part of, probably part of a conglomerate layer. And they might be red agates or jaspers. Yeah, I think they're worth taking home and at least cutting open. Cool. Here's this red stream pebble cut open. Eh, not much. Probably won't have much in any of the ones either. Eh, oh well. Well, there's some of that agate again. That low quality agate, just like that layer. So we're still in the same layers. Unfortunately, probably going to find the same stuff. Oh. Another stream pebble. A little interesting. Maybe worth cutting open. So maybe if you get lucky in the stream pebbles, part of the stuff that's part of the conglomerate layer, that might make something. But other than that, I'm not sure there's a whole lot more out here to find. Well, I went up the this little road a fair ways and kept looking for stuff didn't find anything different than what i'd already shown you so i'm heading back looks like the one area that i found earlier on with the uh, little red agatized <laughs> agate replaced barite is kind of the thing to find up here the petrified wood either it's a spot i just missed and didn't see or it's on private property oh well way it goes sometimes but yeah i'm glad i found those little barite clusters that <laughs> a red agate because that that made the trip worth it anyway that's all for this one hope to see you on the next one remember there is treasure everywhere